Okay, so you're going to run into questions such as this one. Once you get to the higher, um, I guess, portions of the pie, we're in the 70 to, 80, 70 to 80 range. And when you do, you're going to rely on technology. These questions are intended for you to either use a table or to use technology. So I'm going to show you again with Excel because you all should have Excel if you have Microsoft Word available or what other any other variation they're in of some sort of word processing document and um, okay so I'm gonna start with the bottom up so we're gonna start with Kai inverse first and so uh, we're gonna look at the last one you see where it says find the median now remember median and in indicates 50th percentile the median is the middle point of the data so in this case, when you go to an empty cell, you're going to go equals C. You're going to scroll all the way down again. And you're going to go to chi inverse. You see where it says there, C-H-I-I-N-V? Double click on that. It's asking you for the probability. Again, the median is a 50th percent, so you're going to put 0.5, comma, and then the number of degrees of freedom, which is 5, and there's your enter. Okay? The second one, in, or there was a question in the middle, is giving you the area. There's your degree of freedom. It's one direction, so you're simply, again, going to go equals C. Scroll all the way down. Double click on chi inverse. Your probability given to you is 0.1, <coughs> since we're facing up. So if you notice, x squared is greater than, comma, and then 5. If this direction faced in the opposite way, then you would use the complement of that number, okay? So in our case, we have point 0.1. It's facing in the direction that it is. x squared, or chi squared, is greater than k. And then 5 degrees of freedom, and there's your answer, 9.2. Two, three, six. Just round it to one, uh, two decimal places and then. Two. Now, in this question, they're not giving you the area; they're giving you the actual uh, chi value. So what you'd want to do here is, and I'm going to do this one side by side. Um, actually, I'm going to do this down here. We're going to go to equals C again, but this time, after you scroll all the way down, we're going to look at chi dist. Chi dist. So double click on that. This is a chi squared distribution. They're going to ask you for the number first. So you're going to start with the 3 and then the degrees of freedom 5. And that's what you get. We'll do the same thing again. Equals chi dist. Scroll all the way down. You want to double click on this. Again, same thing. You're going to use the 9 this time. And you're going to do comma degrees of freedom, which in this case is also 5. Hit enter. And now your actual answer is going to be the difference between these. So this is going to equal this number minus this number. And this is the first question in there. So this is literally, in a sense, your A. This is going to be your uh, C. And this is your B, if you were to you know, put these in order how you're answering them, okay? So use technology and understand that chi-square is very similar to the normal distribution. It's just the chi-square distribution. And again, we don't expect you to compute these by hand, we expect you to use technology. So best of luck on these, get used to them, just practice them and get used to the, the symbols and the notation in terms of greater than, less than, so you can understand why it is that we use the values we do.